Could you tell me some of the things that sort of happened to bring you into hospital? You mean uh, at the very beginning? Mm -hmm. uh, the first time I passed out in the hospital, I was 16, I had an appendectomy, and they were taking the clamps out of my side and I passed out. But uh, I don't know if that was psychological or pain or what. The next time I passed out was when my son was born in the hospital. I was in the labor room with my wife. Uh, I passed out. I got sick in my stomach. Uh, several years, up from the time I was 16 to I was 22, six was at six years, six years interval there. But I was not aware of anything. I functioned normally. Uh, after I passed out when Steve was born, oh, it was, I don't know, several months later, I passed out again in the hospital visiting an uncle. It was very warm, and I was standing, and uh, I got sick in my stomach, and I uh, excused myself from the room without telling them why, and I went out to the hall to get some water, and I passed out. And uh, that's, so from then on, I realized something was wrong. So I just said, well, I'll eliminate hospitals. And uh, the family doctor said it was psychological then. Well, I didn't resent it or anything. I just didn't believe it. And uh, uh, I just I, I eliminated things one by one that I couldn't do. But uh, I got to the point where I started building back. Uh, this is difficult. What's difficult about it? To tell it, to talk about it. What, what sort of effect does it have on you? I feel like I'm going to pass out. I mean, Just I, talking about it? Yes, reviewing it. Uh, I feel I'm pinned in, I'm pinned down. Uh, it wouldn't be so, uh, I could do it freer or with more ease if we were in my room, in my surroundings. I'm in different surroundings. I'm not used to it. Uh, Why the difference? This, I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just uncomfortable. Uh, anyway, to Meridian 10 years ago and I went into television. I was at about my lowest ebb. Uh, I couldn't function except just go to work and come home. But after we moved to Meridian, it was, I suppose, good therapy for me to get away from Nashville and the influences of past childhood, a rather unhappy experience in radio. And uh, TV was what I wanted and I was enjoying it. Uh, I was in drawing some success, and I was able to get back to what I would say normal or average. Uh, adding back to my activity the things that I had cut off, such as eating out, going to shows, and that type of thing. Uh, up until three years ago, uh, I'd gotten to the point where I was willing to make a talk in church. I say I was willing. I'll have to retract that. I was not willing. They asked me to, and I said no. And they said, oh, being an announcer, you can make a talk in church. Rather than to argue with them or reason with them, I just went in and said, okay. But it was against my will. And about five minutes into the talk, I passed out. This was three years ago. And since then, I haven't been able to add back these things. I know... Uh, when there's something I really don't want to do, I can uh, uh, I can usually find a, a way out, uh, and I have more difficulty uh, in day-to-day -day activity. I have more difficulty doing something when I don't want to do it. When there's something that I genu genuinely want to do, regardless of whether it's going to present a problem for me or not, if I want to do it, I have less difficulty doing it. Whereas if I'm called on to do something that I don't want to do, uh, I'll have 
more difficulty and if it's extreme enough and I can't get out of it I'll provide my own escape of passing out and you feel that you want help yes I I have consulted uh, Dr. Hightower a psychiatrist privately last from last April's year ago until January of this year mm. three days a week uh, I showed some improvement but not enough to continue on financially I just had to stop uh, I stopped the first of the year about three or four months ago I started consulting a social worker in Meridian that I know personally who's on the staff of East Mississippi she has done me actually more good in the last three or four months than I did the nine month consulting the psychiatrist this is not taking anything away from the psychiatrist uh, uh, I don't know why I didn't show Brady we didn't uncover very much do you think that you have a psychiatric problem and that this is what is causing your symptoms? Yes. Uh, for a while, years and years ago, I thought it was organic. Or uh, After I started passing out, I said, well, I'm either an epileptic or I have a brain tumor or something like this. But I've been examined so many times. I know that I'm not epileptic. I don't have a tumor. It's all psychological. And I know it is. Uh, if I met you on the street, the last thing and the latest thing that's been bothering me is my inability to stand. Uh, if I met you on the street or in the hall and had to stand and talk with you, just stand there, I couldn't do it and pass out. I would have to find a place to sit down. This is uh, now going on at work, in my administrative work, when I meet a fellow employee who is coming to ask me something or something of that nature. Uh, when I meet him in the hall, uh, I'll say, well, come on in the office and let's talk about it. Uh, this will give me an opportunity to sit at my desk and they can sit in a chair and we can discuss it. Some days I feel pretty good and I'm not bothered with this. Other days uh, it's very severe. Other days noticeable. It varies. Some days I feel that I could do most anything. Other days, like today, uh, I'm. this is down day as I call it. Tomorrow might be up day, I don't know. Learn that I don't have much facility for showing anger. Or I won't show anger. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to pretend that everything is just going along fine. Mm -hmm. I won't accept anger, I suppose. I accept it, but I store it up, and I won't, uh, I won't express it. Uh, they, uh, Dr. Davis has uh, repeated several times, I've never noticed any anger out of you this week, and I've insisted that there hasn't been anything to make me mad. Mm -hmm. He said, there must be some things, and when I stop and really look at it, I'm way down, why, I do realize that I don't show my anger. Have you been able to change at all in this respect? Yeah, I told him this morning I was pretty mad. <laughs> because uh, I want to go home next weekend, and I can't get a commitment out of it. But just like then, when I said, yeah, I'm mad, I laughed. Yeah. Instead of showing anger, I laughed. I realize this. I realize I'm doing this, but I fail really completely to see how that can make me, uh, can cause my trouble. But I'm sure it can. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I think my outlook is better. My mobility might not be any better, but my outlook is better and I, my understanding of the thing is a little better. What do you think about this uh, suggestion concerning anger? I accept it. I believe it. You mentioned that you couldn't make the connection between the say being angry and your symptoms uh i'm sure it must be true i haven't been able to see the exact connection uh, 
I'm perfectly willing to accept it and believe, and I believe it. But as yet, it hasn't, uh, the full realization hasn't hit me that this is what's causing my problem. Well, why do you think you're tense now? Now? Yes. I'm just generally apprehensive. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I don't know what you're going to ask me. Uh, in view of what I just learned, maybe I'm afraid you're going to ask me something that'll make me mad. Why'd you be afraid of that? I wouldn't want to let you know that I was mad. Would you? No, this, this, is, this is the problem, and my inability to show anger, is that I don't want the other person to know that I'm mad, so I try to cover it up. And the reason I don't want you to know that I would be mad is because I feel that if I let you know that you had made me mad, then you wouldn't like me. It's a, it's a childlike, light thing. Go to hell with your test. I can't do that. But really, that's what I want to do. Why can't you say this? Well, I know I have to do it. And neither do I want to hurt anybody's feelings. Well, this why, is the, why not? Well, this is the key to my problem, it seems. I, I don't want to. I don't want people angry at me. I want people to accept me. I don't want any rejection anywhere. And it looks like I'm fighting a losing battle on that. They're about to convince me that this is an impossible attitude to keep, maintain. Do you think you can still be liked and accepted and yet uh, express some of this no, anger? No, This is what I haven't been able to accept yet. Uh, if I get very angry at someone, I expect them to not accept me for it. Whereas you can express, express your anger to someone and you feel like they will accept you, and they do. But I don't have that ability, or I haven't acquired it yet. I have the, so I have the capacity to uh, learn this, I'm sure, but it's taking a while to learn it. How did you feel in relation to this interview? Uh, for some reason, I wasn't too keen on it this time. Uh, here before, or last week, it didn't bother me. This week, it's bothered me a little. Anything in particular about it that bothers you? Nothing other than I'm just pinned down here for a while. Uh, If I should suddenly want to get up and go get a drink of water or something, I, I don't feel that I'm free to do that. Mm -hmm. The tape is running and it would create a little chaos. Uh, they'd have to shut down and then fire back up. And uh, I've had some experience with this and I know, I know how aggravating it is to have to stop and then start again. So is this being pinned down, you said? That yes. This is part of my problem. In fact, I place more emphasis on being pinned down in a given situation than I do people making me nervous. Although people do make me nervous. Was this so of some of the other situations that you'd mentioned to me? Uh, oh, yes. Your fears of uh, mm -hmm. well, for hospitals, yeah. for example. I'm pinned in. See, I'm up here on the seventh floor. I can't get out rapidly if I... Or if I go in a building somewhere, I'm, I'm enclosed, I can't escape. 